Hello everyone. So as soon as I start filming, I receive a text message. Great. Hi everyone. So before I was really interrupted by my cell phone, today's video is going to be a review on a latest foundation came from Maybelline. This is the second after the original Fit Me. This is the Fit Me this is the dewy smooth foundation and it says new look because it has a new look of, of course and everything and it's for dewy smooth and i have the normal to dry skin and i'm in a shade called mocha something like this packaging is still look the same the only difference that this line here compared to the original one they have a shade this is the only shit. The other one has a only darker shade. Like it was a 350, which had me looking like so Oompa Loompa. You know, I look like Oompa Loompa, but this one is 360, so 360 should be the color. I swatched it on my blog channel, so it's Deanna Slide TV. Will be linked below if you guys want to see when I swatched and how it turned out. So I also picked up the powder. The powder is the Maybelline Fit Me set and smooth normal to dry powder and I have coconut so I'm going to be testing with the coconut and also with coconut and also with mocha and I have both of these together so I'm going to moisturize my face I use the clean and clear dual action moisturizer when I say this is the moisturizer it does hands down great towards my skin it does it doesn't bother it anything so if you have dry skin and you want your skin moisturized and prepped, please go get this moisturizer. It doesn't irritate my skin. I haven't had any problems with acne. So of course this is supposed to help me treat and prevent it. But other than that, it does a great job. foundation before I apply the foundation I usually apply concealer but for the sake of this video I'm going to apply foundation first I'm going to shake it up because with any liquid foundation you want to shake it up even if the prescription tells you do or don't so it says pill for more instructions so but a little bit more about the foundation before I actually peel it off it is hydrates and smooths skin texture natural luminous finish and I'm going to test all that out before I do it out to make else. sure so it's, it's 100% this little tag is so hard to remove let's see okay let's see where it says the directions oh I'm not seeing it so I'm not seeing it so I guess you can apply it however you want to no I am not shiny so please don't think so and yes I do have dry skin so I guess that's just a moisturizing everything so I'm going to shake it up. It doesn't have a pump, which is a bomber. And ew, please, whatever you do, be careful and always hurry and place your cap back on. Please do. So I am going to use a beauty blender to see how well it, it applies for one coverage. With the beauty blender itself, you can tell that I don't have on any foundation, so that's a plus. You don't want your foundation to look like you have on 
foundation. That's the good part. And I did not apply any concealer, so that's hardly another good thing. So this is one side. This is the other. I can still see my little bumps here and there because I'm so used to like full coverage foundation. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. So we do have the foundation on, of course. It looks pretty okay, but there are some areas where I can see where I'm a little dark at. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my skin. And the highlighter that I'm gonna be using, also concealing, is from LA Girl, and this is the shade and medium beige. I still have foundation on the back of my hand, so just in case if I need any extra coverage, um, after I apply my highlight, you know, or concealer. So, definitely going to be highlighting the face because it's needed, like really badly needed. I felt a little tingle in the when I applied the concealer. I wonder why. Usually I don't have that done. Maybe because I apply it, you know? Before. Whoa, that's too much. Apply some foundation. So let's go ahead and take a photo with this. I'm going to take it from my phone. Let's look at, see how it looks with flash. Whoa. Yeah. It, 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 it has a flash. Plus, I really do need to blend out more. So hold on. Now I'm going to apply it with powder. I have this shade called Coconut 355. It comes with the product, of course, and it also comes with a mirror and also a sponge, which I don't use. So I'm just going to set my foundation with the powder and see how that goes. Very smooth like consistency. The plus iPhone 6 Pluses, they do take great pictures, even without flash, just to let y'all know that. iPhone 6 Pluses take great pictures. So I am going to be completing the rest of my makeup off camera, and I will come back with you with the final updates. Okay, you guys, so my face is complete, so I basically have to say that I gotta get used to this foundation. I'm not gonna give it a yes, I'm not gonna give it a no, I'm not gonna give it, I mean, I'm gonna give it a maybe. I'm not even gonna do, like, a rate from 1 to 10 because it just looks dark on camera, but when I go in natural lighting, it looks light, and my lighting is just fine right now. So I have the one in... 
mocha in the one and 355 so for the powder and for the mocha maybe if I get another powder kind of closer to my um, skin complexion then maybe I will definitely do probably have a better off feeling for it so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up this video as well and also let me guys let me know if you guys have any ideas for be mom which will be pretty much next month so I'm super excited for be mom and if you want to know what's on the face the rest of the face then it'll be linked below so thumbs up to for more videos I have to